Hello, welcome, and welcome back to Anime Date Night. I am Corbin. Madison. And thank you so much for joining us. Guys, we're uh, finishing up Apothecary Diaries Season 1. I can't believe we made it, um, but here we are. There has been so much that has been happening um, in these Dude. past couple of episodes. It has just been nonstop with Black Hen and Mau Mau uh, and Jinshi and all the shenanigans going on. Learning about how to buy a consort's contract. Uh, learning about how you devalue a consort. And why well, you learned, what was her name? That. Perry? Perrin. Perrin? Perrin, yeah. Um, maybe she might have her, her Well, she pride. helped raise yeah. Mau Mau. We learned that she actually nursed her when she was young. Before she got adopted by the uh, the apothecary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. There's been a lot that's been going on. Yeah. Um, as always, hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy hanging out with us on the YouTubes. You can also join us over on Patreon. We've got unedited early reactions. We've also got monthly movies. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you have an idea for which stories you'd like me and Madison to explore next, Absolutely. drop it in the comments or go over on Discord. It's a great way to get those ideas out there. We have an entire server devoted to recommendations and our mods have been wonderful about separating it by genre so join us over there absolutely um with that being said ready to do this thing oh my god start with Perrin. is that mamao's mom uh-huh and was she a member of the verdigris house before uh-huh she was a member of the verdigris house when it was really not nothing yeah. When it struggled, she was there. Yeah. Putting in work. Yeah. Jeez. The nails. Interesting, they showed the mom first. Uh-huh. She knew exactly. So I paused because I'm sure... The show is going to explain this. Probably not today, but at some point they'll explain this. If he knew he had a daughter, why did she not grow up with him? Mm. If he knew he had a kid, why did she grow up with the apothecary? Because he couldn't, uh, she wasn't his wife, um, and he ultimately decided not to marry her. Uh, well, because he got her fucking sick. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, you know, the Emperor's potential bastard or whatever, illegitimate child or whatever, lives in the manor. Could he not find a servant job for it the illegitimate daughter? Could she not do laundry? It would have been inconvenient to the strategist, I think. I That's guess. just what I think. I think that Lacken would have viewed uh, such a child as an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps, She had to like maybe prove her worth. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. there's a good bit of that. That's an um, interesting theory. Yeah. Okay. He's certainly aware of her existence, though. It has been for a while. Best three of five. No handicaps, bro. Go as hard as you can with all the specials. No. Yeah, because he's been trying to buy her for years, right? Yep. So, like, at what point did he decide that he needed to try to get her? Once she started demonstrating and kind of getting popped up on his radar a number of times. That's a good point. I'm gonna have you buy out the... my mom! Oh! Bruh! I wonder, I wonder... I know exactly who! Either, either, either he'll have to buy out her mom's contract and they're gonna make it exorbitant just cause reasons. Yeah. Or she's gonna try to get her sister out so she can live with the dude she likes. I I see it as you're gonna buy out my mom's contract. You're gonna do I right think, by her. I think Mau Mau's you're a gonna, pragmatist. And you're gonna pay the full fucking rate even in the condition that she's in. And you're gonna take I'm care really of her I'm really curious how Mau Mau's gonna milk this. Bruh. This is gonna be Oh awesome. man. I hope she wins. I'm invested. <laughs> That's what it takes. If only I could get that back with my passport. <laughs> Is that sake? Harder than sake. Jeez. Distilled. 
肉口も飲めば猛毒になりますけど小瓶の液体を三つの杯に入れてどれに入れたかわからないようにします勝負一回ごとに勝った方が一つ選び負けた方がそれを一息に飲むこれが一つ目のルールですたとえどんな理由があろうとも試合を放棄したら負けよろしいですか She's probably got a tolerance for this thing she's using She's probably built up a tolerance to this shit I don't know the game they're playing though No idea Looks like chess Knock it back. She eats poison seaweed from pufferfish. She's fine. Yeah, right? She would let you know if there was a problem. And he, Lacken is also probably smart about, you know, ingesting poisons to kind of build up a tolerance. Because he's high enough. He's a high ranking official. Mm hmm. It is chess. Oh, okay. Or they were all poisoned before she got here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is gonna like make him sick or just kill him or have him give him diarrhea or what. It's so fascinating that Jinshi is here. Like, he doesn't need to be. <laughs> Get out of my face. Probably not. Okay. Oh, I feel like she put something poetic in this drink, like penicillin or something. I don't fucking know what she put in it. I feel like there's something poetic in here. Oh, he's thinking it was three between their entire sex, I see. Having taken one of the poisons. He doesn't have a tolerance to it, does he? He's gonna pass out, and she wins. Oh, wow. No matter the reason, she wins. It's paralytic. No, it's non-lethal. They've been drinking liquor and what's it called? Huh? Oh, 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 Mm hmm It was just more it was just hard liquor. Just extra liquor? Yeah, I got sake and I'm pouring hard liquor in here. For any reason. So she got him knocked the fuck out, passed out drunk. And he abandons the game. And he loses by default. Wow, I don't even have to play this good because I'm gonna play the Yo, Cardi B would be proud. Wow, that's the <laughs> That's dark as hell. <laughs> but I am so proud of Mal Mal. He's willing to essay a courtesan because he lusts after her. He got her sick. It's a whole thing. Fuck this man. Play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking weirdo. I wonder if he's on the spectrum, maybe. <sighs> the inability to distinguish faces. That's and like, it's the inability to distinguish faces and the sheer breadth of practical application of options yeah. separate from an emotional morality. Mm. Does that make sense? That does make sense. He was different and mm -hmm. thus neglected. It's like when children are dyslexic and people think they're stupid. That's true. That's true. Find ways to cope. That's nice. That's unnerving. But you still hurt people, bro. But I guess the result of that is they end up being. What's the word? Negligible, I guess. 
And see, that's that's the thing. She made you feel something. Oh, she could play chess. Uh -huh. She might have beat you in chess. The hands. Her, oh, her nail polish. Because he couldn't distinguish her face. But he could see her hands. Fen Shang. Literally never, bro. What's his name? Magnus Carlson? Mangus Magnus? Yup. But he saw her. Oh, she looks so much like her mother. Mao Mao looks so much like her mother. Yeah. Holy shit. Just change the eye color, my guy. She gift him a set? Yeah. And she was the one he wanted to buy out. Yeah. Because she was fucking smart. Hmm. Got it? Damn. That's interesting. I never really thought about the um the pleasure districts being a place where people live, but also being antithetical to child rearing. Like there are children who work in the but, pleasure district. But, but getting pregnant and having a kid but like shoots actually, your value into the ground. Actually doing the, the act of child rearing is no. made very difficult to near impossible just by the nature of the area well and you'd be under you'd be flying under the radar for the duration of your pregnancy it really yeah. makes me understand how blessed mau mau was that she was loved in such a way that she could be work adjacent with the pleasure district but not as the pleasure district well and i don't know if this is i just i don't know enough about like Chinese society mm -hmm. and the level of meritocracy and like social hierarchy. I I only know so much about like the Japanese iteration of those things. I know nothing about the Chinese iteration of those things. But when you have like a certain value prop mm -hmm. and you're in a society that funnels you into your specific value prop, I kind of think of it like corn with the pea. Because once you're an actor for a while, you become like a director or a producer. Okay. But your physical offerings mm -hmm. are, are adjusted, right? From instead of the body to maybe more the mind or the experience. Um, so I imagine a brothel would be comparable. Mm -hmm. And I understood it in the Japanese um, iteration of it that it was a way for uh, courtesans to make and keep a living and a way for women to accumulate wealth and also mm -hmm. deal in business. Um, because they would be excluded from the marketplaces in most other areas. But in this area, in this context, they were able to do business much more easily and accumulate wealth. And yeah. It. What's nice, too, about the society is that there's not really a limit on the expenditure of money, right? So, like, in the States, for example, um, cannabis is inconsistently legal. It's like a patchwork throughout the country. So, a lot of, like, banking vendors won't let you spend money mm -hmm. at a dispensary even if you're somewhere it's legal they don't care they're like what you're not going to do is put mastercard or visa or whoever on a dispensary and i have to imagine a brothel would be the same um i've heard that like sex stars and like actors have had a hard time like getting mortgages and stuff oh, interesting. because of the source of their income oh interesting that the bank won't, won't recognize it oh it's it's messy. So I'm kind of curious to see how this society circumvents that moral moral element. You know, it probably helps that they don't have like the specter of Christianity shaming mm -hmm. them all to hell. Well, I mean, I mean they, they they have their different you know the different religious of, rules and morality. But it's you know there's certainly no specter of like Western like religion or more. yeah. There's not, I don't think that the idea of, like is, you're going to hell right for being uh, a courtesan. Which is why I enjoy these other stories. Oh, y'all, I got called out for being the Is There a Brothel in it lady. <laughs> Apparently there have been like three or four shows where I'm like, is there a brothel? And I was right, but it's weird that I keep asking that. 
Apparently Madison wants to visit a brothel. Shut up! I'm asking about the show. Listen, it looks like a good time. Stop I'm just being... Saying. Stop. <laughs> Her harsh attitude. I mean, she had multiple bitters, though. Yeah, there it is. Aficionados. Just more and more silver pieces. Listen, you've got a quarterly cadence. Is she painting her name? Oh, I see. God, Mama looks like her mother. Yeah, we remember this. We do. This is what he was telling Jinji. イボ兄弟に跡継ぎの立場を奪われた自分にはとうて太刀打ちできる額ではなかった。たまには賭けをしませんか。あなたが勝てたら好きなものを与えましょう。私が勝てたら好きなものをいただきましょう。Cool. Interesting. So he pays to visit, and they just play chess. They just play chess. I have to imagine that is sometimes the case. Like sometimes the, you know, uh, visitors, I guess, patrons, just want to hang out. They just want company. With, you know, minimal strings attached. I wonder if she's gonna throw this game. Okay. This does change things. What happened, though? I think that's what we're about to find out. She's singing in her sleep? I think so.優秀だったお時期が失脚した。高級の遺憾になったと思ったら追放だと一族の名誉時代。Wait. Wow! I love that we both were just like, hold on. So her father is her uncle. Yes, I think so. Her, her, great, her great uncle. uncle. Great uncle. You and I are just like this. Wow! I didn't know homie had like a famous name, but it makes sense if he was working in the rear palace. He would have been somebody. Wow. Because you guys were friendly, you have to get out. ミュケバナシが破談になったと本線から踏みがあり、私も半年ほどで戻れるだろうと高をくくっていた。まさか戻るのに三年もかかるとは思いもしなかった。本線からの踏みがこんなにあ、mixture of the uh the umbilical cord? I think it's the umbilical cord. What? Finger severing. お前、本心でもいない。今さら何しに来たんだい。3年も本で置いて。価値が落ちた技術がどうなるかなんて知ったことないだろ。うん。少し考えれば分かった。なんて言うんだ。見受けの破談。しかし、so wait, so the dude found out she was pregnant and that's why the deal fell through. Mm -hmm. But I guess how did she get, like, she didn't take moon tea or something? That's, that's, that's my question because... So she was already pregnant, but they hadn't slept together at that point yet? It, it, 
No. Because we only saw them sit together the once. Right. Once was apparently enough, but I mean, but no, if she was already pregnant, no, at yeah, that she point. was she was a working she was a working girl. So like, but that that's my question because the 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 brothel should have like taken care of unwanted pregnancy or right. it could have become that Plan B has been a thing for many a moon. It might have been a situation such that news got out that she was pregnant, and so even if she had taken care of it, the value of being is that, the perceived value is already gone. Somebody heard, somebody talked, and that's that. She Fengxing was a pregnant uh, courtesan, and he wasn't her answering her letters anymore. Yeah, and how that must have looked, how it must have looked that he wasn't answering her letters anymore. Yeah, fuck, play. Fuck. So because she she can only take the lower cup uh, customers. Her fingers fell off. Are you cut off? I think she cut him off. The curse him? I think. I don't. It's been a rough three years. But you're still gonna wake up rich as hell, though. You're still gonna wake up with your family name. But you lost your match. Oh, Granny's got some words for you. I'm sure the fuck she does. What a fascinating way to perceive the world. Mm -hmm. She was the one she told she wanted to focus on the match. This is so complicated. I was so sure how I felt about it like an episode ago. God, that's good writing. Oh, oh the name of the person you're freeing. Yep, the name of your new wife. Don't forget your fucking bed, dude. The blue flower. That is heavy symbolism right there. Mm -hmm. So that explains why it was a few years before he tried to get Mau Mau. Uh huh. He didn't know about her. Fuck. That's complicated. <sighs> I know, that's where they're gonna drop us. That's okay. We just ran out we just ran out the clock. The now. entire episode was backstory. I was never bored, and I'm upset the episode is over. How the fuck was that the penultimate episode of the season? I know, it kills me. But that was beautifully done. That was so intense. Yes, oh my god, that game of uh friggin' chess. Well, Whoa. I like seeing the world that way. Yeah. It's such a fascinating lens. <sighs> It, it, through which, you know what I'm saying? It really does change the way I look at Lacken. Me too. Um, Me too. I feel a great deal more sympathy for him. Knowing how it went down the way that it went down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm willing to accept this show's argument that his biggest crime is lack of... Empathy, maybe? Lack of empathy, but like lack of foresight, lack of thought. Lack of consideration. This, this, it, maybe yeah. that's why he's a strategist now. Yeah. He didn't see this coming. Yeah, it, that's funny. It, it, wow, it, goddamn. I didn't think about that, but yo, that is got, a thought. He got caught off guard, and variables outside of his control fucked with his life. And so he dedicated his Damn life. Damn it, now I don't hate him as much. I know. Or at all, and I, I know. Like, God dang This show it. has built him up to be like a big bad villain, and now I'm like, well, Now oh. he's just fucking sketchy. God <sighs> yeah. damn it. Now he's just very suspect. <sighs> Last episode. But also, I am gagging that. I am out. gooped. For real. <coughs> Play. You go buy your contract. Yeah. I wonder how often he he still has it. I wonder, like the first time he saw her and immediately knew who she was. She looks so much like her mother. Man of his word, if nothing else. Oh, Abolita. Oh, yeah. Abolita Sama. I'm glad whatever is what we ended on. Okay, cool. Really? I can only think of one. Well, I wonder what actual lineup she's going to present to him. 
Hmm. Really? Oh, they're... Oh, interesting. They're not playing stupid games. So Mama was gonna actually like, hmm. I would have thought she had to pick. Or she got to pick. Nope. I can think of one other. But as there's a butt coming. I knew Feng Xing was gonna be off. I wonder if she didn't he didn't know Feng Xing was still alive. Oh, I wonder. She's singing that song. He didn't know Feng Xing was still alive? He heard her. Wow. Wow. He didn't know she was still alive. Wow. He didn't know she was alive. He did not know. If you're gonna pick, then choose well. Wow. Mei Mei still loves this girl. Yes, you do. She probably thought he abandoned her. Yeah. Wow. He'll sell everything in his life for her. Bro, I'm getting teary eyed. I'm not gonna lie. Is she gonna recognize him? Wow, she looks like she's healed. Because that's the way he sees her. Yeah. <sighs> yep. I'm getting teary eyed. That's beautiful. Wow. And he sees her hand is fully intact. That's everything she's ever wanted for her. Matron. Oh, wow. He sees her perfectly. It's so delicate that you can't touch the right fruit or to burst. Damn. That was really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that was really beautiful. Not, it happened the way that I thought it was going to happen, but it didn't happen. The way, like, yeah. The, there was a, a different intent and like mechanism behind it's it. It's funny, it's almost like like the denotative idea right, right. was there, but the connotation, the vibe of it was different. Wow. I was very surprised. Um, Because we really thought he like deliberately yeah. fucked with her. And, I, and we were so confused. Like, so what happened? Mm -hmm. Now we know what happened. There there were, in fact, some... His father certain... sent him away because his uncle got in trouble. And yeah. he and his uncle were close. The uncle we know. Like, what? And, and the, it's all from drama like we know about. But do we know that... Um, yeah. We're taken to believe that the uncle... Is the uh, apothecary who raised yeah. Mama. So he raised his niece. Wow, and never said a word. Never said a word. <sighs> wow. And Fenshing's just been there the whole time. And Lacken had no idea. Because Mao Mao is 17 now. Yeah. And he came back when she was three? 14 years. He's had no idea. The only woman he's ever cared for. Was just sitting. Was a mile up the street? 
Yeah. Wow. I know. Whew. Well, and like so much, and I'm kind of like going back to like my own reaction in the early parts, right? Is like so much of the behavior we see from Lockin, Lacken, mm -hmm. it's really easy to take it personally. Yeah. It's really easy to take personally. And if you assume the undertone of awareness, then it seems malicious. But if you just unpin that assumption from the foundation of your like perception, the entire tone changes. Yeah. Like, kind of think of it as like one of the other shows that you and I have seen in our personal lives, right? It's like, well, genocide's an option. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Like, it's it's an option on the table. Is it the right option? No. Did Lacken say that was the right thing to do? Also, no. It was more of like, a, I mean, if we wanted to kill everybody, we could. Like, that's... Gojo says it a lot. <laughs> um, and so did people from other shows that we've seen. No spoilers. Um, the way that I've seen it over the last, like, three episodes has shifted so dramatically. Yeah. Holy shit. This show is just... I'm eating my words so often lately. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. This show is just absolutely superbly written. Yeah. Uh, no doubt in my mind. When people say it's a perfect show, I completely agree. I can I can see it becoming that. I just needed to land and stick the landing. All right, play. I'm so curious what this show sounds like dubbed. <laughs> oh, she good today. Feelings are a little bit more complicated. Well, and also, how's he dressed? It's very, like, pajamas. Okay. That's what you and I were saying. Right. She wanted his child. Right. Chino Hints and mouth mouse fingers. I'm so confused right now. あの男は人の顔がわからないんです。目や口の形はわかるのに、それをまとめて認識できず、それは気の毒だな。Not hers. その話をしてくれた洋夫も They did talk. They did. かわいそうなやつなんだ。Because he was the one who kind of taught him to see him as pieces. また人洋夫の顔だけはしっかりわかるみたいで。because you look like your mother. Damn near identical. Oh, yeah. Have we seen Mama missing her finger? I don't recall. Lumens. Yeah, that's a good feeling. That's a pretty reasonable approach. Yeah. Wow. あの、<笑> Are they going to go on a date? That yeah. outfit was giving me date vibes. Ah, is she going to be the one dancing on top of the city walls? Wow, she's all dressed up. Wow. She still has the freckles, though. Part of what makes her her.
And it's funny, the bandages are still so visible. Just, you know, it's still very much Mau Mau. It's just who she is. But it's fascinating to see her in such a different, like, context, but still so very much her. Yeah. Including the Blue Rose. I wonder if this is like a victory dance for her. I think it's a celebration for her mom. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily the outcome she had in mind, but it's still a wonderful one. Indeed. <laughs> Mau Mau, swear to God, we don't get Osha up in this shit. なんでここにいるんです。また変な女が外壁に入り込んでって Ah, yeah. Getting her settled. Yo, he's taking the time for a honeymoon. That's really... Wow. She will be fully honored. Yeah. Oh, girl's got a Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna throw a big ass party in your name. Yeah. But we're gonna have Yeah, it's it's a big event, breaking in lots of money, but also big honors. She would die soon. Wow. Interesting. そんな話はちょっとしたことから漏れていくものだ。六章間が潰れかけたゲームは。ああ。カズハーバーズ。いや。あの悪夢は本当にあったことだった。うん。女の母たる記憶はない。今ある。She's looking at Curious why. Maybe she like sliced off her pinky. Maybe. Oh. She cut off the tip of her finger. No, no, you gotta sit down for like a solid couple. Daijobu <laughs> <laughs> also, you can't be working in that dress. You, that dress is valuable. But she's like, I can't walk down with a bunny leg, can I? Oh, I guess Jinchi's gonna fucking superhero land us. Is this really it? Is this really what you're giving us? <sighs> what do you want to say? Probably thank you. I have six days to live. I'm just kidding. Don't say it's I love you. Fuck me up. Don't say it's I love you. Don't fuck me up like that. Nah, I don't think she's that kind of... <laughs> That's right! Pay me what you owe! Bro, would've fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie. If you said, if she said I love you. Nah. Wow, that's beautiful. But as long as you're holding me in your arms, and it's so beautiful here in the starlight, can I ask you for one thing? Pay me what you owe. You gonna pay what you owe. <sighs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got the mushroom from the insect. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, Got me curious too. Interesting. Tanomitaikotonga. <laughs> I know. No! 
We're just gonna have to no! wait and find out. No, 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 no! I know. Damn it! Yup. Fuck! Bruh, you're gonna leave us right before Jinji tells us the next thing, right before we get that. We gotta just sit here and wait for they all the possibilities. Know how to make you watch season two, man. Me, I know, I know. Hooked me. But already. I didn't realize this is Toho, which also did Fruin. Oh snap! Somehow they let us play Apothecary Diaries. Thank you, Toho Limited. Yeah. Um, Never thought I'd hear those words out your mouth. Though. Right? Because they. But oh, hey. wow. Oh, bro! What an amazing show! Yeah. Really, this one's gonna make my top ten. This is a really good show. And, like, it's interesting that, like, meeting Lacken, speaking with myself, I got such, like, a strong sense of, like, this is who this character is. Yeah. And then, like, four episodes later, they're like, you thought. No, we've gone on a whole to, journey wait, with Wait Lacken. to judge. Yeah. Wow. Woof. I also, I just, I love that this show really brings to life a world that I had not, like, considered very much, which would be, like, Imperial Life in... China. And there's there's a lot of things to it. Um, not the least of which is, god damn, that is some strong infrastructure. Well, and I'm Whoa. just thinking about, like, the logistical mechanics of moving Mau Mau's mom mm -hmm. from the Verdigris house to his place. Yeah. And how he's going to start, he's probably going to start up with the nurse. Yeah. She's going to need round-the-clock care. She's been getting round-the-clock care. Yeah. Uh, so I think, you know, he, we're going to have to set up new infrastructure for round-the-clock care, but mm -hmm. hopefully his round-the-clock care is better and she gets better treated um, and they can enjoy what, what time they have together. Wow. Um, but, wow, beautifully poetic. Um, the fact that he saw her the way he met her. Yeah. And, like, we saw her and she had, like, all the stuff on her neck and her hands were bandaged. And she was clearly not all cognitively there. Yeah. But when he saw her, she was perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it speaks to connection beyond appearance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy that the, uh, the Virtus Grease house, you know, threw the biggest celebration that they yeah. could throw. She's an OG. Yeah. She's an OG who has not been well in a long time. Um, but she she was fully honored, and that makes me feel good um, but it, because she deserved it. Well, it's interesting to think, like, you know, her getting pregnant, almost bankrupt at the Verdigris house. Yeah. And yet they kept taking care of her, and they took care of her kid. Mm -hmm. And when they got back up and running, she had a place to live. Yeah. Presumably forever. So, and I'm curious if she, like... Started taking all those people as like penance for what she did to the Verdigris house, or if it was just for food. But she wasn't. Even when her yeah. value was lowered, she she went out and she earned money for the for the house. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, that's a lot to process. Yeah. Feelings towards Lacan are. I think I think we're with Mal now. They're they're, they're complicated. You know? Yeah. Um. But hate isn't the right word. It's seeing him sob when he saw her again. Yeah. When he like heard her singing and registered who it probably was. Yeah. And he ran towards the voice. That was an incredible. And like that's an emotionality that was beyond what we knew him to be capable of. With like how he sees people and stuff. And she was super proud and she was kind of harsh, but she wanted his kid. Mm -hmm. they got along and they were both really smart and they were able to bounce off of each other and apparently they had pretty good sex not a not bad you know element to consider um wow wow i know man just i'm left with a lot of heavy feelings i'm left with wanting more um because now we have to wait until next year at least and, you know, let, listen, let the animators go home. Let them, let them touch grass and spend time with their families. If it means we get a later product, that that's I'm fine with that. Yeah, um, let them go to Disney World or the beach or fucking Niagara Falls. I don't know where they want to go, but, you yeah. Know, somewhere doing something. All right, that'll do it for me. That'll do it for me. This is another one we're going to put on the shelf, and we'll pick it up when it comes back. See you guys soon. Catch you on the next one. Bye.